the reason that I am here in this room right now and not sitting down or anything because today's video is another extreme room makeover. You might be asking, Erica, didn't you had a roof makeover for this particular room like five, six months ago? Well, if you want to check it out, you could just check it out in here if you want to see the progress, if you're very curious into that. But yeah, I'm going to do an extreme room makeover once again. As you see in the title of this video, and the reason for that personally is that the sofa, computer, table, the setup that I have right now is honestly not working very well for me. It made me uncomfortable. I just grew out of it per se. And it's making my posture really bad because I tend to slouch over the sofa. And it's just very cluttered because I lack shelves and stuff to put up on here because there's not enough room and space so I decided to ask my parents if I could just have a study desk customized they were okay with it they were actually on board with it because they were thinking the same thing as I am that it's making me the setup currently that I have right now is making me uncomfortable it's a bit cluttered which clutters my mind because the word says clutter my cluttered cluttered room cluttered mind something like that and I just really wanted a new start for second semester to customize this whole room into finally what would be like my typical aesthetic. So I will just show you guys the whole process of it within one month before the second semester starts and I'm really really excited to do that. And yeah, I'm going to cut to the chase. Make sure to like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel as well. And without further ado, we will now begin the process. Oh, and by the way, before I really start the makeover, I would like to thank Anime Topop on Instagram for creating the cute and wonderful intro and outro of my channel. You already seen the very, very adorable intro a while ago, and the outro will be seen after the video, obviously. I will link everything in the description below if you want to get yourself a new intro, outro, a new branding for your channel, or basically a small business if you guys want to. Second of all, I would like to thank basically the family for the huge support that they have given to me in this project and you know, the love that we share towards one another. It's pretty neat. Third of all, um, there are still issues around the world and I would like to tell you guys that it's still not over and I will link everything in the description below. Without further ado, let's really begin this video, yeah? As you guys can see, it is a mess, a mess, and a mess. There's not much shelf or organizer to place all of my stuff, and the computer table that I use there is way too small for all of my stuff to put in there for my study, so I become less productive as a result. And also, the computer table is about to fall apart literally. It's been missing a screw as soon as it was shipped here, actually and we just salvage it with a lot of tape and i just don't feel like using it anymore also in the other side in the gaming area it's still literally a mess because since i have nowhere to put most of my stuff the cd player and everything that i collect it has been a hell zone of a bookshelf and this bookshelf is literally about to break y'all it's just holding on for dear life and we're just gonna remove all of them now with that out of the way, here is my plan for the room. So here is what my room looks like right now. Sorry if it is not as big as the one that I'm drawing right now, but it's this big somehow, estimated. And I do plan to have a corner table which has my PC set up on the right side and on the middle to left side would be my study desk and my you know stationary area where I could focus on stuff and underneath the study table area I would have drawers underneath for storage and on the PC setup I would have like a slit underneath to place my CPU so that it won't get heated and after that we would have wall shelves for figurines my light sticks my albums etc and we would have a full length mirror plus wall clock on the top of it so that you know make it pretty you know and on the back of the door uh, i would have lots of hooks there like a balancing hook or something so that i'll be able to hang my clothes there on the 
side of the door on the little slit like a hole on the bottom I would have a bed there and a shelf like a floating shelf on top and I would have a TV underneath with my speakers on them. These are subjected to change and we would have a tape here on the side as well. So that's basically my plan. And now let's start cleaning. By the way, the typical aesthetic I am looking for in my room is kind of a mix of a cozy and vibey kind of room. And my literal idea about this is that I want my room to be great in the mornings where the sun hits and Great at night with the lights and everything. While we spent an hour or so cleaning the room and everything, we discovered a lot of treasures in there, which is nice. So as you guys can see, the room is now empty, most of it. We removed everything, as in everything that we had previously. Also in this area that I was trying to hide because we have a very grand idea for this area. And I'm really, really excited to make it happen hopefully by tomorrow or Wednesday, I don't know when. But hopefully by this week it will be mostly done or it, this will start already because I only have one month to finish all of this. Hopefully, para you know, start na sa concern pag bumabago naman tayo dito. I'm very excited for this process. And uh, although it's quite small for my liking, it's still actually pretty okay for me. I actually kind of like it still. Um, I will have more space in here. So we will cut this area right here and somehow right here as well. So that will be a space for my chair to be pushed in. And also more stuff underneath for me to dispose some of my stuff in ever. Oh, but tatanggalin ko nga to para mapasok na yung upuan. So, so far it's this and they'll come in next Tuesday because they're busy around like every day of the week except Tuesday. So, they'll get used to this on Tuesday. And I'm really excited for the progress of this room. And yeah, I hope this opens pretty up soon, you know? <laughs> I'm really excited. This will be a really great update.
I forgot to bring you guys. Hello everyone. So um, for the next three days, me and my dad and everyone are going to take a break from editing the room once in a while because my dad is gonna be very busy these past three days because of his work on Cebu. So I decided to get myself a steel for a while and decided to buy this three-tier kitchen rack. And personally, I do not know myself on how to assemble stuff, but I hope it works. So we'll just sanitize like this. I already closed off all the stuff and sanitized it a while ago, as you can see. So let's open this baby fast and easy and quick. This hella. There's a lot of bubble wrap. Thank you. By the way, I bought this from this shop. I will just link all of the stuff that I bought from Shopee in the description below. I'm not really a Lazada person unless it's really needed. So most of the stuff I bought are from Shopee because I feel like Shopee is a bit more personal. It's more user friendly for me. I just am used more to using Shopee in my online. Uh, online purchases rather than Lazada. So uh, yeah, Shopee, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. <laughs> Anyways, this is the box that I have right now. It's the uh, it's the three-tier kitchen rack that I will put on the side of the table for my makeup, for stickers, and etc. Some essentials. I don't really use skincare, so not uh, on that. Maybe some wipes too. So I got it in the color white. And yeah, I'm really excited to open this. I hope and I really, really hope that this works like a charm. Now, I guess from the looks of it, it's very wrapped in plastic. Yeah, it's really wrapped in plastic in here, like lots of plastic. I'm really nervous when it comes to this huge stuff because it's literally my first time buying this large, like really, really large. I'm really nervous when it comes to building and yeah, I really hope it works out. So let's see. Let's see if we have some good stuff. Okay, sounds good. I'm just going to, there's some, uh, what do you call this? There's some rust in here, but it's nothing to worry about because it's, it is protected. So far, so good. Um, there are some parts of the plastic where there are some dust rust leaks, but it's not bad at all. At least um, my, uh, what do you call this? My card isn't as bad as it seems. And uh, we have these parts as well, maybe for you know the these parts these parts and then let's see I'm still working yet yeah, and then they also got us uh, some materials to work with the uh, screwdrivers and bolt and snots and stuff and I'm going to try uh, organizing this stuff because honestly I'm very very shit at um, arranging stuff especially when it's hardware needed you know if i overestimate myself i'm just gonna ask help from my dad or kuya john since they're here now luckily they just arrived from from work they just arrived from work because they're on a trip to cebu as i said and let's see there are more stuff like hmm, so far the material is really good Nothing is broken at least. Okay, there's some rust in here, but it's not that obvious luckily. Luckily though, it's not that bad at all. So far, it's really good. I really hope that, you know, this time the bolts are organized now because the last time we bought something that involves a lot of nuts, it didn't fit. So let's see if there are instructions. Oh, the instructions are crumpled. Okay, so... Number one, we'll start at the bottom. So maybe we'll start over here. Step one is to insert it like this, I think. Okay, okay. I think it's this one. 
okay. And then step one would be to screw the baby skin. I'm probably going to um, time skip, time skip these, these babies, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, if it won't, it doesn't work. So step one is to screw our things okay. So there, there's some rust there. It's all good. It works. Oh, oh, there it is. So we're just gonna screw them on like this, and I'm just going to time. I'm just going to uh, time time lapse this part so that. Oh, ah! <laughs> wait. I'm just going to. Oh dear God. I'm just going to time lapse this part so that you won't see me struggle and bore myself for I don't know how many minutes I will set this up, but hopefully it works. project to do even though it looks intimidating and hard at first it's actually really nice now time to bring this downstairs and wait three days later show my face right now because I absolutely look like shit but I want to show you guys something so finally I wasn't able to record the process of the painting because the whole thing is just filled with dust and everything just filled with dust so I just let them paint let them go at it and this is the first coat so far it's not that white yet though but it already shows like how the room brightened up because of this like look look how beautiful it all is now i'm so so excited for the second coating tomorrow which they will do they have painted the table as i expected which is nice i love it so far and i'm really excited and yeah i will see you guys tomorrow for the second coating the starting of the bed and everything and we will probably buy some material soon so here is also the thing i have a old um wall grid from downstairs in my previous room 
and I wanted to paint this white in order to match the basket that I bought from Shopee like yesterday, the one that it arrived yesterday. So we're, I, we plan to paint this one white and hopefully it will turn out good. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Um, hello everyone, this is Editing Erica. So I asked a poll on my Instagram on what should I do with the parts because I feel like it's gonna be too long, y'all gonna be bored. So follow my Instagram for the poll, haul at Erica, the handle is the same. And this poll is the result. So I see and hear you guys you wanted this to just be split into parts which i understand because no one really wants to watch like a very long video with just repeating stuff to be honest so i decided to do that and with that that is the end of part one see you guys on part two thank you guys so much for supporting thank you guys so much for watching my videos and yeah i will see you guys in part two and kisses for all bye bye